Golly, you can tell a lot of pigeons are up in here. Oh yeah, they're there. Oh no! Oh, sit! Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Yeah, forever I've been trying to get Fred to jump in the bed of the truck. Y'all have been trying to help me and I finally did it with my buddy Charlie's help. He has needed to learn place forever. And by learning place, placing them on different sizable, tall, short objects, he's there now. He jumps right on the tailgate, so it's awesome. But you guys have been loving the pigeon videos, and that's what we are doing today. We are trapping on top of the rooftop. Fred, place. Place. Good. Set. Set. I didn't tell him to get down. He shouldn't be getting down. But before we get trapping them rooftops, i got to show you the ducks t-shirt of the month for August. Check that bad boy out. What's better than a yellow lab with a mallard in its mouth? Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Fred, place. Fred, place. Good, sit. Oh, just two peas in a pod. Look at them. <laughs> Bubba, you're crazy. But if you want to sign up for the Ducks T-shirt of the month, all you do is subscribe for a monthly T-shirt. They're all dope, one-off designs, straight to your mailbox every single month. And by the way, they only cost $14.99. That's a $10 savings that you get per t-shirt compared to the rest of our t-shirts on the website that are $25. So, you save some jack. Well, we are here to check the old rooftop pigeon trap. Oh, gotta unlock the tailgate, Bob. Remember back when there was a time when you didn't lock and unlock your tailgate? with your key remote yeah well here's our bucket here <laughs> we've been catching some pigeons look at that <laughs> but we're gonna need to take a little bit of food with us today so that's what I've been doing been putting a little bit of food in this bucket Ooh, that's plenty that's plenty just a little bit there and then what I do is put the camera in the bucket with the feed because you know them flights of stairs are steep boy now, this is how this door, oh darn it, I didn't want to, darn it Bob, I don't like letting that slap loud like that. I like being quiet, so if there's any birds out there, we can sneak up on them, but I probably already ruined that. <laughs> See if we got anything. Here we are. Ooh, there's one getting off the roof down there. I keep telling myself and you guys, I need to put another trap down there. We need to be running two on the roof here. Do we have anything? No, nothing. That is extremely surprising. Yesterday morning I got here and we had two. The prior evening, we had one. Yesterday evening, I didn't have any. And this morning, I didn't have any. Why, why, why? Well, back here at the house, and uh, anything different? You notice anything different? <laughs> yeah, I don't have my goggles on. A lot of you guys, whenever I do videos, a lot of you are like, Bobby, put the goggles back on. Honestly, what's your guys' honest opinion of the goggles? Should I start wearing contacts more? I've actually thought about getting LASIK eye surgery so I don't have to worry about goggles and contacts so much. Honestly, what's your opinion? Are the goggles just a trademark? Because I love my goggles. And especially I love that self-tinting. Yeah, the self-adjust tinting deal. The old grandpa things. Yep. I love that too because when I'm hunting and in the field, the tent adjusts for me. So I don't have to worry about bringing sunglasses or anything like that. So, just figured it was a relatable subject. Wanted y'all's opinion. Let me know. But before we get headed back to the old rooftop, I figured we'd come back here and check out how things are going. Um, going really good. There's Mama up there in the corner. She has been being a good Mama, let me tell you what. Now we did take all three ferals out of here. They are over at Jordan's house at his big barn loft. I showed you guys that on the last video. But check it out. I asked you guys this on like five videos ago. But I originally paired Carl right there. Carl, gee, many Cl Clark, goodness, Bob. I paired Clark up with the white mama, but now there's this guy. He's basically taking Carl's spot. 
I'm not sure if I was wrong in the beginning. Maybe guy, jeez, I called him Carl again. I don't know if Clark and uh, Old Mama actually paired correctly. I don't know, but this guy has been doing one heck of a job taking care of her nest while she's gone. See her back there? She's back there <laughs> peeking around the corner. <laughs> but there's our eggs right there. We got two of them. Uh, the first one should hatch about three days sooner, maybe four days sooner than the second. I think we've got about, I don't know, five days to go before the first one hatches. I think. Because they, because normally they take like 19 days. We should be like right at about 12 days in. So, we're getting there. Well, we are back down here in the heart of the downtown. And uh, going to get back on the roof in a minute. But we have a special guest today. Old Jordan's meeting me here right now. I've been wanting to take him up on the rooftop, let him scope it out, get his ideas, what we should do. Maybe he has some better ideas than me. Jordan has actually trapped rooftop uh, pigeons down here, kind of in the same area. Actually, it's about a mile away. Sorry about that. It's about a mile away. So he has some good ideas. I want to see if he can... Uh, I want to see if he has any other good ideas than what I've done already. Today it is 102 degrees. The heat is back, y'all, and I am not liking it. I am ready for some cool weather. Look at all these pigeons. Holy smokes, boys. Woo! Oh, yeah, that's a big group right there. But 102 degrees, the wind has been ferocious today. You would think with 15, 20 mile an hour gusts of wind, it wouldn't be 102 degrees. Well, here we are. Let's see if we got anything. Uh, nothing. A big nothing. What in the world? Look who we got, though. The whole Jordan. Old special guest himself, dude. Look at that. Look at him in the shadow right there. Oh, they're bunched up hard. Yeah, they are tight in there. That rooftop I've been describing to you guys is literally just loaded 24-7. I mean, that is the place the pigeons want to be. And uh, Jordan was like, well, let's take a look at all the uh, business names and see if we can make something happen here. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. I bet I can get on that. You think you can get on I it? I think I can get on that. See, this is, see what happens here? We get on one and then we're like, oh, now we can see what we're looking at. And now it's like, yep, there's another one. There's another one. You get my drift. Like I said on the last video, I want to be able to be on like 10 or 20, checking them a day, you know? But right up here, dude. So those extension ladders yeah. up there, we can check it out if you want. Might as well. Well, you've seen the lay of the land. You got any uh, ideas that I'm not doing or Something we could do different? Be over there. <laughs> yeah, be over there. That's right, dude. That's the hot spot. No, nah, but I mean, they're obviously using this as a perch. I mean, there's lots of lots of fecal matter up there. So yeah. I think it's just getting them used to coming here. Right, right. So, I mean, there's never been food here before. You've right. been up here, what, a week time? Yeah, a like week, that. maybe. I mean, it, it'll, it'll come. Especially with the cold, I think it's really going to ramp up. Be very, very quiet. We're chasing pigeons. Well, we are at location number three of the day. Um, Jordan got permission again. He used to trap here. Long story short, used to trap here. He has permission again. Long story short again, we're going to go through this door. We have an opportunity to catch one by hand. They used to nest and roost in there. So when they nest and roost in there, there's not a whole lot of space. So if you're fast, you can catch one. <laughs> it's happened a couple of times, but not very often. These videos, we're gonna keep getting permission. It's gonna get wilder and wilder. Okay, I'll film you. You do your thing. Golly, you can tell a lot of pigeons are up in here. Oh yeah, they're there. Oh no! Oh, no. There's too much poop in the way. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow, look, look. There's look, babies here, and then got, this side there's a brand new one and an egg still. Look at that, we got babies. <laughs> All full. Wow, what is this? Is this a chimney? Yes. Well, That's kind of, it's, it's an old fire station. Look this at that. This is where they used to dry the hoses. I gotta climb up that thing? Yeah, and then try and <laughs> figure your way out of that. It's sketchy. But then there's this little guy. Here's oh, a yeah. brand new one. Like, Look at that. I bet this guy's less than a day or two old. I'll be darn, check him out. 
That's what we're getting ready to have at the house, y'all. Yep, old fugly. Old fugly. <laughs> yeah, as soon as uh, you said that Clark could be the dad, you know what the first song that popped in my head was? What? You're gonna have a baby Clark doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was right. You can open this door up and catch him, but he hasn't been up here for what, a year and a half? You said? Probably, actually it's probably at least two, two, wow. two minimum, maybe three years. This awesome. is why the door wouldn't open. Well, check it out. All the bird poop, all the dust, all the dirt. Close that bad boy shut. Are you going to take any of them babies? Are you going to leave them here? Oh, I'll leave them. We'll catch leave them, them when they're about ready to fly. And Wow. I mean, we'll Wild. let them raise them for us. But let me make sure this trap okay, is Okay, go ahead. There. Go ahead. Yeah, it's still here. Oh, good deal. Look at this though, just the ground in here. You can imagine they they have been in here forever. Look at that. It's a little nasty with that baby there. It got bones everywhere. He got eggs everywhere. Wow. Look at this mound of poop. It's because You're standing on like 10 inches of it. Yeah, because they sit up there and poop right there. All right, we need the bucket and everything? Yeah. All right, I gotta climb up there. I gotta uh, turn off the camera for a minute. Oh. <laughs> Holy smokes, yo, yo, yo! <laughs> okay, one day we're filming, but that's every bit of 20 feet, dude. Oh yeah, it's a drop. Wow. Jordan was like, be prepared for the sketchiest rooftop entrance yet. And I'm like, oh, it can't be that bad. Oh no. Well, here we go. Jordan's got one of the normal traps here that he built. That's an old one, huh? Yeah. How long ago you built this one? Oh, five years ago? Jeez. Probably. Been a minute or two. Oh, yeah. But you're going to get blown out a little bit by the wind. I want to show you. So there's the chimney we came up. And here is the view. Now the last uh, building we were just on, sorry for the wind again, but was way beyond that tall building right there. Way beyond it. So from the last building, we're every bit of probably a good half mile north of it. Need more zip ties. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna bait this bad boy up here. Kind of bait it pretty heavy, but boy howdy, our third building that we're on. We're fitting to do some damage, boys. We're fitting to do some damage. <laughs> I'm banking on it. Oh yeah. I'm heading down first. Good, good riddance, old buddy. <laughs> I'm telling you, some of these, uh, some of these are a little loose, brother. Yeah. We might have to bring a screw gun or something along next time. Some reinforcements. Yeah. It's 100 degrees out. It's really humid in here. But that ladder, that's the sketchiest rooftop entrance yet. You were right, dude. It was fun, though. Oh, it is fun. <laughs> but we're going to leave our little buddies here alone. I just we told, know. yeah, I just told Jordan, I was like, hey, let's clean this door out so next time we can come, we will uh, be able to catch them birds because three of them escaped before he could get the door open. He's like, yeah, but with the chicks here, three babies on the ground, another egg waiting to hatch. He's like, do you really want to catch the parents? So probably not a good idea to catch the parents. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe once those two nests get done, we can take that. Right. And get more. What, would be, what would be cool though is if we do catch all of them, we take them back to Jordan's and they're already mated pairs. So like they just stay there, they live, and they breed. That'd be cool, right? But I have had a blast journeying around me and old Jordan. This has been fun. These videos are going to get epic, y'all. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Big shout out to Jordan again. If you guys haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, I will link it down in the description below. He'll be doing a, he'll be doing a lot of the same stuff I am. We're going to be checking traps back and forth. So if you want to see his trapping videos and his barn loft, you got to go down in the description, check his channel out. And, and guys, check out that new hat. I know, I know. If you guys want to help support the channel at all, I will link all this Ducks gear. When you guys go and purchase something from DucksWaterfowl.com, it all goes to help your boy and me bring you guys more videos. So, 
Check out that Ducks t-shirt of the month. Got the yellow lab. Pretty much looking like Fred, I know. Old Mallard in his mouth, I know. If you guys want any of this gear, I will link it down below. Go check it all out, pick something up. It goes directly to supporting me and bringing you more of these videos. But we're done sweating our bunions off up here. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for your boy. Let's get this bad boy well over a thousand likes, shall we? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your help. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.